Since our childhood, we have been too involved with finding the steps it takes to achieve a certain goal. Like me, you too have searched for the steps to manifest something in your life. But is there something like steps? Is it possible to manifest our desires through physical action? Well, there is no such thing as physical action when it comes to manifestation. Also, you don't have to figure out an X, Y, and Z step plan that will let you manifest your desire. It is all an inner game. There is only one cause, and that cause is within you. It is your own wonderful human imagination that makes the movement in your life. But whenever the question of physical actions appears, people always wonder what it means to take no action when it comes to manifestation. With experience, I can assure you that this question of yours will be answered right now. Like you, I always wondered if there were some steps that I had to take in order to fulfill my desire. I researched by looking at different videos and reading articles and books. I was new to the law and had never consciously manifested anything big at that time. I just manifested some coins, butterflies, a rainbow, and chocolates. At that time, I was manifesting a specific person. When it comes to a specific individual with whom you are in no contact from a long time, the physical action that seems very common is to initiate contact with them. Talk to them and clear out your conflicts. But, even after doing it, they ignored me at first. I wondered what else they needed. I took physical action, but it didn't work. I still felt terrible inside. I felt ignored, unlovable, and unworthy. All these feelings crowded my mind. After that, I never took a single action to initiate contact with them. I was like, enough is enough, and I went on exploring the law. I came up with several teachings of Neville Goddard, and they helped me tremendously. I learned that taking a physical action without changing the inner story is like traveling in the opposite direction. Once I figured this out, one day they came running to me and hugged me tightly at a specific spot. After that, we had dinner made by my specific person. Then I returned home and received a phone call from my specific person asking if I still loved them. That moment was eye-opening to me. I made it happen even without taking any physical action. All I did was change my internal state. I gave myself the highest priority, love, as I changed what was within me and as I changed my stories. As I felt worthy, they reflected it back to me. At that moment, I realized that there is no step-by-step -step manifestation plan that will let me manifest my desire. I tried the water technique, scripting, pillow method, and whatnot. As some Law of Attraction teachers mention, write your desires on a sheet of paper using different colored pens. I did it, but nothing happened for me. All because I was unclear about what was behind these techniques. People claim to have manifested larger breast sizes simply by scripting, but I was unable to manifest anything using scripting. The moment I consciously manifested the thing I considered big, everything became clear. I realized that the point of scripting was to change our assumptions, our inner story, and our beliefs. Like this, every other technique that exists helps us change our internal story and our assumptions. For some, affirmations work. For some, visualizations work. For some, scripting works, while there are others who use the pillow method and it worked. All of these methods, however, are there to experience a state of wish fulfillment. To feel as if we are already the ones we wanted to become. After knowing all of this, my journey to find out the steps to manifest my desire came to an end. I realized that physical actions are fruitless when we don't change our inner perspective towards the desire. The only thing I need to do to improve my life is to change my inner state of being. I have to match my inner state of being to my desired reality through the conscious application of my imagination. I have to consistently get into the state of having my desire by experiencing it again and again in my imagination. As I do it consistently, my actions become automatic and I no longer think about taking some physical action. It happens automatically. Situations appear, and I take actions as per them. Things happen, and I get it. But if I sit all day taking actions while being miserable inside, the actions won't bring about any changes. Surely we can get some temporary surface-level changes, but since it is not a deep change, it will all assemble back from where it started. To bring about permanent changes, we have to permanently change our state of being. Otherwise, we will land up at the same place again and again. Therefore, there are no X, Y, or Z steps that can help you manifest your desire. The only step necessary to bring about a change is an internal one. If you can do it, you can achieve anything you want. Stop researching for steps. There are no steps, and there are no specific physical actions that you have to take when it comes to manifestation. All these things require a disciplined approach to changing our inner state. It is that simple. You can find some guided meditations to bring about that change. It helps me a lot. I've accomplished a lot by using this method of guided meditation. I'll try to upload these guided meditation videos in the future, but I need to find someone with a soothing voice first. You can even write the topics for the guided meditations in the comment sections. With this, I hope you learned something amazing today.
Subscribe for more such videos. I will meet you with another golden nugget. Happy manifesting.